Hey guys, it's me once again, and today I'm not going to do a cleaning video because I think I'm getting pretty bored of that too. So, <laughs> um, one awesome big news is I'm finally able to wear some hanging earrings. I mean, I've been able to for quite a while, just my parents never got me ones. So this is my first pair of hanging earrings, and I got them today at church because they are doing a fundraiser for people with epilepsy so I got some and I really love them they're super adorable and cute uh, they don't at all match my outfit but uh, I don't really care um so let's get started uh, I'm going to be doing a briar barn tour updated it's like completely different spent the last an like, hour-ish cleaning it up and changing it up because it was the exact same and now it's actually really adorable and I incredibly love the pony pen. It completely changed and I'm super happy and excited and oh my gosh I just I can't wait for this video. So let's just get started. Okay so here at the front we have my Stein over here. Moon Gleam Sables, exact same one. I'm not really planning on changing it anytime soon. And then over here is our big entry statue kind thing. Uh, we have our awesome horse that I don't necessarily use other than this, so he's getting kind of dusty. But this is, um, if he was a stable horse, his name would be Snowman, Footsteps in the Snow, or Navi, or Navi Uh, because that's a real horse. And I have three signatures, like the three owners or something. I don't really know what it was. I have his three signatures under there. And uh, it's making this cool little thing from our snow globe that I also got at Briar Fest. And uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, it's awesome. I want this Briar model. But the thing is, is, with these Briar models, I mean, it's like you wouldn't usually use them, but for like riding. So, yeah, I don't know. And then I have these, like, they're not Schleichs, but they're like, a different brand. They're a ripoff of Schleichs because they're like not as cool and detailed. So yeah, I have two of them because I wanted to get some. And uh, yeah, this is another guy. And then this is the same exact ceramic horse that I have. He's wonderful. Isn't he? Yes, he is. So yes, that's our front gate. And yeah, so over here is our pony pen and jump storage and doggy cat pen. So, over here is our incredibly small pony pen. We have gotten rid of one pony and added a new one. This is Ice, or, um, I forgot, Ice Storm. And, so Ice is such a cute little pony, and I love her super duper much. And I did get a new doll, but she's downstairs. <laughs> um, but this is Brenda, and have you guys seen Brenda in a long time? I mean, it's been super long, ever since you've seen Brenda. Yep, she's here. She has no feet again, still. But, uh, so this was the Klutz Horse pen, but I have changed it. I'm getting rid of the Klutz Horse, so I don't know if anyone wants him. I'll probably put him up on eBay or something else like that. So if you want him, you might be able to get him at eBay. I have no idea what his price would be, so if you guys do have a Klutz Horse like that, um, like the one I had, please, if you do have an idea, on how much you would be, please tell me. There are tons of horses I have so far for sale. Um, so yeah. And I'm just gonna ask you guys if you have these horses, could you tell me what I could sell them for? And yeah, so the other horses here, uh, I believe you guys have met these wonderful horses. This is Magnum. He looks like a Joey to me though, so I might rename him Joey. And then this is Pretzel, and then that's Heidi. And over here is our jump storage. Uh, and then it's also got our dog bowl and kitty bowl and toy. And then here's the gate because at night we put them in here and they sleep quite soundly. And then this also has a gate, but I don't feel like opening it because it took me forever to get Brenda in that stance and I'd have to take her out. And over here we've got some, sorry, some horse toys. So yeah, and some weird green things. I don't know. And another horse for sale. This is a uh, classy or a classic gem rolled. But I'm thinking of selling her too because, I mean, 
I don't really use her and I don't get that much pleasure out of her. So she's a classic and uh, pretty much. She's a halfling, -a, but she's super cute. Like, isn't that, like, adorable? She's so adorable. So I might sell her, too. So if you have an idea, I'll put a price, like I said. So that's the pony pen and doggy pen. And then over here is our unmarked arena. But it's an arena. I pretend there's a big fence around it. And currently, we have over here Megan uh, with Bruno. This is Bruno. And she's just letting her horse go around. And this is uh, Hernandez, or here for the gold. And his dressage injury has healed. So he's perfectly fine now. And he's still got all his scratches, though. And uh, I got him from the Clarion. I don't really know what I want to use him for. But he's still a great horse. And, like, look at that. I'm fierce. I am fierce! Yes, he is. And he's got some... Cool little marking. So I don't know. I don't think I want to sell him, but I don't know. So then over here we have Lisa with her horse Snow Man. Wow, that failed. Lisa with her horse uh, Flicka. But the thing is, is the horse I ride looks almost exactly like Flicka. So like the the horse I ride at the barn. And um, I was kind of like thinking maybe I could rename Flicka to Roki, the horse I ride, because I really want to. And he's awesome. She is awesome. So let's, I, I'm going to pretend this is Roki. This is me. This is me currying Roki. <laughs> but um, so sorry about all this wobbliness. I am in a weird stance right now. Blah, blah. And then, so right now I'm currying her. And at the barn, we only use a hoof pick, a long brush, or a dandy brush, or sorry, a hard brush or a dandy brush, and a curry comb. Now, the reason why is because the soft brush is for polishing, and we only polish at shows. So, it works that way. And then over here we have a western bridle, because she's going to go on bareback. And the thing is, is I would have had her English tack here, but my dogs, which I have three of them, decided to be super awesome and do me a favor of eating all my English saddles and my favorite English saddle and bridle. So the only bridle I have that's English is brown, and brown doesn't necessarily look that good on her. I guess she's like a whitish horse. So, yeah, my dogs love to eat my things. It's really weird because they don't eat my western saddles or bridles, but they will eat my English, which is really stupid and annoying, and I'm really mad at them, but at the same time, I'm not going to get angry at them. It's kind of weird. I'm a confusion person, and I'm super mad. So, <laughs> yeah, and currently she's just got a hay bale here to put the stuff on, and the tack box to put there, and she's tied up, and yeah, yeah, I guess, so... The cat has fallen and it can't get up by itself. Stand, my kitty cat. There we go. Okay, so over here, next to these guys, this is our tack up area. Uh, this is uh, Roki's stall, and I'm sorry it's dark over here. It's next to my dresser. That's all nice and clean now. Okay, so <laughs> over here is our hook uh, for halters at this two stall area. Um, so when they're in their stalls. Yeah. And then over here, we have armor, or knight in shining armor. And this is also Lisa's horse. And he's super pretty. And, uh, yeah, I'm so happy because I got this wonderful horse here. And this one. And they're amazing. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is their little two-stall bit place. And then... Um, these two guys, they're the exact same as last time, but this is Lilac, or Snow the Wind, and she's super awesome and pretty and amazing, and I love her. And then, so I love this one, and my mom loves this one, which is Headstrong, or Stronger Than an Ox. And he's in a dark alley, isn't he? Yes, but he's super pretty. And I mean... I don't usually ride them, but they're super pretty, and I never, ever give this one away, my lilac girl. But at the same time, I have mixed feelings about this guy. I mean, I love him, and my mom loves him, and she doesn't want me to sell him. So, but at the same time, I mean, 
I don't love him. And I'm a weird and confusing person again. But if you guys have an idea, could you also tell me how much he is? And I might just consider um, selling him. I don't know. Uh, once again, it's all on eBay. And yeah, that's enough with these horses. Up here. Okay, over here we have Fairy's stall or Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. She is out in the round pen currently. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, they're training. And then over here we have a uh, Prince. This is Prince, our little kitty cat. <laughs> Prince Caspian is his full name, but we just call him Prince. But uh, Prince Caspian, this is him. Yeah. And then over here we have our little hallway of more stuff. And yes, and um, over here we have our mare and foal kind of area. And this is Starfly or um, Platinum Star. And then over here is Diamond or Shining Bright. Okay, and then over here we have our holiday mare and foal set. So, y'all. Yeah. And then also here we have Taylor putting on Summer's halter and then Summer's little foal. I don't have show names for them. So comment also some show names for these guys. Uh, so that's Summer. And then this is, um, what's his name? Gosh, Winter. That's Winter. And then this is Taylor. I think I already said this. Don't need, she doesn't need a show name. Unless you want to give her one, you can surely go and give her one. But, <laughs> yeah. I made this halter for another horse, and this the other horse is kind of like up on the shelf. Up there, behind the gray horse. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and it also took me forever to get this doll in this place, so I'm not moving her for a long time. And then here's our sky. It's so pretty. And then it's got like this big layer of brown cloud. It's kind of weird. And then up there, we have this weird floating thing called a calendar. It's got horses on it. It's so pretty. Okay, that was weird. And then over here, we have Phoenix or SBH Phoenix. And he's our oldest horse here. He is 26 years old. So he's getting his grays. Horses don't usually get, but he's getting his grace. He's been born with grace. He's gotten a little more white. Okay, and then over here we have Hawk or Find Me to Sky. And uh, once again, I'm kind of imagining that there is a nice little stall here. He doesn't have a stall, which is kind of sad. But uh, here's his Hawk, and he's got his short name. He's a Western horse, but he's super pretty. I love Hawk. He's such a cutie with the boy. Like, just look at the cutie the face. He's so adorable. So, sorry about that. And then over here, we have uh, Trixie, or Dixie. I have called her many other things in the past. So, that says Trixie or Dixie, and um, I don't really know what to call her. I call her both, because they're both really adorable names. So, Trixie or Dixie, and Hawk is over there. This is Trixie, Dixie, and Hawk. Don't forget my little hockey boy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was weird. Because I'm weird. So you go out of this horse hallway, as I like to call it, and you go wee, over to our attack room and some of our other horses for sale. <laughs> so, yeah. This is our attack room, and this wall used to be like over here and closing it all off, but that made it super like closed and I didn't like it, so I opened it up. And, yeah. <laughs> And this is our muck out bucket, which has all of our utensils in our muck out barrel. And yeah. <laughs> and then over here we have all of our bridles. We have a western bridle. Another western bridle. Another western bridle. This is Isis. It has two of these ear things, which isn't normal. Then, last but never least, we have our only English bridal. One that I made. All by myself. It's so amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, enough of that. Uh, over here, we have our English saddle pads. Sorry, tack rooms are always, like, dark. So, 
Yeah, I need to get a light over here. So these are our English saddle pads, and usually there would be English saddles on top of this, but there's dogs in this life, and they decided to eat it. Both. <laughs> so sad. Okay, so then over here we have our Western stuff. I have two Eng or Western saddle pads and one Western saddle, because the dogs... Actually, no, it wasn't the dogs this time. It broke. It, like, all the girth pieces snapped. It's kind of sad. Yeah. So, yeah. And then over here we have our feeding area thing. And, yeah, this is, um, gotta make more about those. If I can get my finger on the screen. It's here. These are the horse stuff, and then that's the pony pen stuff. And over here we have a little feed bag from Briar. Briar. And then over here we have our feed bin, which I still haven't painted. And I kept saying, hey guys, I'm not like, going to paint this, which I still haven't painted. So, yeah, it's just the exact same. Same exact amount of food. Same exact everything. Which is kind of sad. So, next up we have... The shelf here. Um, this has our hip thing lever. Let me get it to focus. That'd be nice. Focus. Hoof flex. We have hoof flex. And then some shoe fly. Fly spray. And then we have a little shaver. Because, yeah. And then in this empty spot here. So... Yeah, and then we have the parts of a horse, the parts of the western saddle, parts of an English saddle, which I need to look at the picture because I still have to study that stuff, and then the parts of the horse's head. Let's see if we can focus on this. Focus. Thank you very much for not focusing. You're welcome. Yeah, you can't see that. It's so tiny. I had to scale it down so it fit on small tiny little thing so anywho over here the last thing we have is our round pen which at the top says moon gleam stable smiley face and over here we have a hill and it's shaped like a tiger and it's pretty awesome i told i call it tiger mount hill it's pretty awesome it's a pretty tall hill too it's also really steep it has this like weird cliff thing that looks like a nose Okay, sorry, I'm weird. Uh, the longer these videos get, the crazier I get at the end. So, um, over here we have Abigail. Oh, yeah, she does not have a show name. Gotta remember that. This is Abigail. And uh, right now, we are training for um, some showing. Yeah. Uh, this is her horse, Fairy. Empty stall. That empty stall. And, uh, yeah, so this is her horse, Fairy, and it's an amazing horse. She's super tall. She's an American saddlebred. She's, like, 17 hands, I believe, is what it said. Yeah, she's super tall. Like, really tall. She's the tallest horse here. Uh, so, yeah. And this is Abigail. I already said that, and I'm super proud that she's standing, because, like, it's really hard to get them to stand. But, yeah, let me see. Do but hey. See if we can get in to the round pen. And we are going to say hey to Miss Abigail. It's not working, guys. Egg big. Egg big. Egg big. Do 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 fudge. Hello, Abigail. Hey, I'm trying to work my heart. And there you are. Now then leave. And we'll leave. Okay, that was kind of weird. I have no idea what you guys saw because it was pointing away from me. But you guys also saw me. And then yeah, let's get a close up on Miss Fairy because she's super pretty. Like, look at that beautiful horse. Yeah, she's awesome. I love her. I love her. I wouldn't ever sell this horse. So, yeah, and 
you guys have any idea where I can get any, some like English saddles, that would be wonderful. So now I'm gonna go do a very nice overview of this. So, so. Trixie, Trixie, so bad. Oh, oh, one more horse. Let me see. Oh, he's over here. This is a special run from Briarfest. Uh, he's not that expensive because he was one of the more popular ones. So, yeah, and if you guys have any idea how much he would be, he's like the champagne guy or something. But yeah, he's pretty awesome. I like him, it's just I never use him, so there's no point in keeping him. So, anywho, anywho, uh, like I was saying, uh, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I just can't wait till my parents get home because we gotta eat some cheesecake that I made all by myself and I'm super proud and super happy and yeah and um what else Ooh, I want to show you guys my calendar that I got and it's pretty cool I mean like yeah I've gone through all the horses on here and I've named them all because I'm such a nerd and yes let's get it all here let's see here we have here I have my brother's birthday is first uh, notification I have and then I have lesson um like on all the Wednesdays and then I have Roki Lee's question mark exclamation point <laughs> um uh yeah my throat's dry uh pointing to next lesson because I might be a police be horsey next lesson and I'm super duper happy uh, because my trainer says that I probably would be a great person. Like, so far, she says that I have the ability to lease a horse. So, I'm super happy about that. And, yeah, so, I'm super happy. I mean, like, I can't contain myself. I'm trying to find a certain picture here. Because it's, like, my favorite picture. Can't find it. Oh, here we are. So, so super pretty. I mean, the stupid glare here, but like, look at that horse. I love him. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. And please take into consideration the prices of the horses and comment it down below and then i'll make a video saying i have posted the horses on ebay and you can go check them out and other than that guys i will see you next time on horse obsessed stay horse obsessed because it's a great obsession i swear every horse person is super duper nice unless you're way too rich and bratty okay <laughs> um i guess i'll see you guys later in the next video whenever that'll be i hope it's gonna be soon because i love making videos on youtube and i hope it's gonna be at the barn because i love it i love it it's so fun i might even do a barn tour if you guys want it post some more ideas because i have absolutely no idea what to video and i guess that'll be it for today stay horse obsessed bye